Beloved, beloved, I greet you in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Uh, I'm making this video because of the constant question all Muslims ask. They will ask, is Jesus God or not? Blatant question. Normally, we try to dodge the question. Don't dodge that question. Tell them Jesus is God, and if they question you more, pause and tell them, let us turn to Surah 2, Ayah 210. Surah 200, Ayah 210. I will read it for you. Now, in this Surah, I'm reading from Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali said, the Quran says, will they wait until Allah comes to them in canopies of clouds with angels and the question is settled. But to Allah, do all questions go back for decision? Okay, this is what this surah says. This surah is claiming Allah will be coming in the clouds with angels to settle matters on the earth. Pay attention. If this is Allah, let's say it's over 700 years before this fabricated religion, and they pick and chop things from the Bible, they pick an hero to make a religion claiming this so-called Allah to be superior of our God. This is what the Bible has already said. But before I go to what the Bible has already said, let me read another surah. That is Surah 3, higher 55. This is Sahih International. It says, when Allah said, Oh Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you in submission to Allah alone superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. I will make those who follow you superior to all those who disbelieve in the day of resurrection. Then to me in your return, then to me in your return, I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to differ. Now, this doesn't make sense. But Allah is claiming he's the one who raised Jesus and he's talking to me, to me. Now, if Allah is the one who raised Jesus, how can Allah say he's the one who will be coming from the clouds? You know where they copy this from? They copy this from Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1 from verse 7 to 8. Let's see who will be coming from the clouds. Jesus is the one who will be coming from the clouds. So Allah is claiming to raise Jesus, yet Allah is claiming to be Jesus. This so-called Allah is a confused entity we don't know who he is and has confused all Muslims. So that's why you see their confusion. I'm reading. It's, Jesus said, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierce him, and all the tribes of the earth who mourn because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come. The Almighty. This is Jesus speaking. The supposed Allah is claiming to be Jesus and is the one who will be coming from the class. You see the confusion? Allah is confused and has confused all Muslims. So if they ask you, if Allah is God, then Jesus is God. And if Allah is the one who will come from the clouds, then that makes Jesus God. So don't argue about them whether Jesus become man. Use their own surahs to pin them down. Now, Revelation 1, 7 to 8 is not the only place Jesus talked about him coming on the clouds. In Mark chapter 13, verse 24 to 27, Luke 21, 26 to 27, and even as chapter 1, verse 9 to 11, the angel said, the two angels that came, he said, the same way you see Jesus go to the heavens, he will come in the same manner. So go and do what he says. If Allah is the one who is claiming to be coming in the class of angels to settle things on their matter, that makes Jesus Allah. That makes Jesus God. Speak no more. 